Kazakhstan, a country that boasts abundance in resources, unique nature, and of course kind and welcoming people. Located in the heart of Eurasia, Kazakhstan has always been a center for attracting the bravest, strong-spirited, and entrepreneurial people. By charging it the country with energy, realizing the boldest of projects, and introducing the newest technologies, these people are changing the face of modern Kazakhstan. Our today's program is about those who decided to tie their lives with our country and about their business. Restaurants hold a special place in the public food industry. The restaurant business is a specific sphere that helps to satisfy not only people's needs in good quality food, but also provides good quality services to customers by catering to their emotional and aesthetic requirements. Opening restaurants in Kazakhstan is a very good investment at this moment because I think the public catering industry is developing rapidly. People are traveling all the time, they're looking for new things and seek opportunities to try something unusual at home. So I think this industry is just at the development stage and people will open more and more new ideas. The demand will always be there because people always like to eat, to get together with their friends and family. So regardless of the economic situation, this tradition will not change. So I think the demand will always be there. Мы ходим в ресторане, чтобы попробовать что-то вкусно, попробовать, что мы не можем делать дома. We go to restaurants to try something good, to try something we can't make at home, and to be in an atmosphere of comfort with quite a high level of service. For the Swedish chef Edward Henshaw, cooking is a real passion. He came to Almaty to open his little restaurant craft kitchen and bar. Edward himself is the author of the menu and designed this unique place. I came to Kazakhstan two years ago to start my first business. Honestly, I can say that I couldn't have a warmer welcome. The country has really absorbed me into their culture and to welcome me and really everyone has showed me such a friendly uh, welcoming into their homes and to their lives. To, it was honestly very easy to make new friends with both locals and all the foreigners here. It's a small community where everyone wants to learn something new about each other. And that's where I felt like, well, this is where my business will excel, by showing people what I want to bring to this country. I saw a lot of opportunities before I came, and um, I couldn't have wished for anything better. Edward has been living in Kazakhstan since 2014. He was born in Sweden. For quite a long time, he lived in Dubai, studying restaurant management in the Hotel Business Academy, graduating with a degree in Hotel General Management. His degree also included restaurant management courses. He always liked this industry. While studying in Dubai, Edward worked in different companies as a cook, bartender and administrator. Welcome to my restaurant, Craft Kitchen and Bar in Almaty. So this is the main dining room. This is our restaurant, which we designed from the very beginning until the end. We wanted to focus this restaurant around a few key elements around the design, which was Scandinavian industrial minimalism, which is resolving around three main materials, which, well, partially we had to work with, and also that we wanted to add, which would make the character of the restaurant what it is. And this came out of cement, copper and a lot of wood, which of course in Scandinavia we have plenty of woods everywhere and the tree is, a, is an integral part of our design language from, from Scandinavia. Uh, over here we've got a beautiful wooden bar which uh, Nur Sultan is working in to make us amazing drinks with new recipes all the time, thinking about new ingredients to work with. Here another key part of the design was to have an open kitchen where the 
guests could uh, really feel comfortable coming to ask what we're doing, how we're doing it, to see the process of cooking, why and how we're cooking and when. There's no secrets. I wanted it to be open so that everyone can come and just feel welcome in the process. Почему выгодно э, открывать здесь ресторан? Это потому что есть куда расти. Уровень здесь. Э, Opening restaurants here is good as you have lots of space to grow. The level is quite low, that's why people and the market itself expects high-level cuisine from a restaurateur. А высокого уровня э, кухня э, ожидает разнообразия, потому что мы понимаем, что We understand that people travel all the time and keep asking for new things in Kazakhstan to be brought from abroad, and you have place for constant growth. И здесь есть куда расти постоянно, и с добавлением крафт ресторана и kitchen и бар. And opening the craft kitchen and bar gave a further push in terms of competition. Well, it's good for the level of the restaurant business in Kazakhstan. Edward came up with all the dishes for the menu from scratch. Many of them were created in his home kitchen when he was cooking for his wife and friends. Now several items on the menu are dishes created by other cooks in the restaurant. The cooking battle starts in the restaurant every Friday, closer to the end of the workday. This is a regular competition between the cooks of the craft kitchen and Edward, his wife, restaurant workers and the visitors are the judges. The winning dish gets its own name and becomes part of the menu. Thus, for instance, the menu has a new dish, duck breast from sous chef Michael. Edward thinks that such competitions stimulate artistic growth and development for his cooks and helps update the menu. Chef battles are held at night. The jury can be guests, it can be our personnel. We have chef battles in the evening. The judges can be our guests or staff. And it's exciting because the people you work with are judging your dish. Once I won the chef battle with a banana chocolate dessert. It will be added to the menu soon. And you know it's such a pleasure when something you made is appreciated and offered to the guests. For me the most important thing about a restaurant is obviously establishing standards and maintaining them. But at the same time making sure that the, the whole team can come together and feel like a small family. After all we spend more time in the restaurant than we do in, uh, in our homes. So if we're going to be here so many hours at the, at the, in one day, then we might as well be very close and friendly and make sure we stick together and that for me creates the ultimate restaurant environment where everyone really feels like they're close friends and can work together in harmony between service and kitchen. For the first time I was nervous because he's the chef. I had a language barrier and I was shy. But then I realized that they're very open and kind people and they're great to work with. Ну, придя в этот ресторан, я для себя в своем мнении вырос как повар, научился много чему интересного. Since I started working at this restaurant, I think I grew as a cook. I learned lots of interesting things. I learned not only how to cut, but my vision has expanded, inventing new tastes, some new combinations, different dishes. And we have great freedom here because Chef Edward tells us to do whatever we want, and if it's good, it'll be put on the menu. And this was great. For dishes with meat, Edward uses meat produced in Kazakhstan, marble Angus beef. A good meat must soak for a certain period of time. Soaking makes it softer and tastier. It must be soaked for 21 days under a certain temperature. Here in the craft kitchen and bar we have the best burgers, because it's a thorough process with great attention paid to the details. I mean meat selection, drying, monitoring the meat temperature, everything is tracked and we have good professionals working here. So I can say we have the best burgers in the city. So in order to make the perfect burger, the most important thing is to handle the meat with the right temperature all the time. This means working in smaller batches, always taking out what you need at what moment, keeping all of your equipment, utensils, instruments, always they, need, they always need to be cold.
One of the most important things in Sweden is the culture of food. Every holiday, celebration, meeting, family reunion, work meeting, and every event in Sweden in general is connected with food. The Swedes don't see their life without an excellent breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if it is in a good company, then the dinner might last several hours. Furthermore, there is a special day of cinnamon bun in Sweden. It takes place on the 4th of October. Also, we have a lovely tradition to take time between work with coffee and bakery products. By the way, if we talk about food, it is necessary to note that Sweden produces more cheese than France. We appreciate fresh, tasty, high quality produce. In fact, we like healthy produce too much in Sweden. Food festivals often take place in Sweden and they give opportunities for guests to participate in many events. The most popular of them take place in the main squares of the city. In June, I was at the biggest and most popular festival called Stockholm Taste. Someone told me it is the biggest festival not only in the Scandinavian area but also in the world. Food from every part of the world was shown at this festival. Indian, Chinese, Italian, Mediterranean, German, and also Scandinavian. Unfortunately, I did not find any Kazakh cuisine there, but hopefully there will be some next year as the program changes every year. Already when I came to Kazakhstan, immediately people were telling me, or discouraging me from opening a restaurant. Don't open restaurant or cafe or bar. We already have so many. I said, okay, you have so many, but you don't have mine. You don't have my taste and my concept, my ideas, my execution. Um, of course, I didn't know that it was going to be successful, but uh, you have to believe in yourself to do something. And I said, okay. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of cafes, and a lot of bars, but I'm going to try mine. I'm going to try to give my taste to this country. Something different, best thing I could have done. And so it was the opening day. Of course, we were very excited because not everything was ready yet. Some small things, but we still didn't have them or were short of them. We were running around, doing something, helping the cooks. It was both exciting and funny at the same time because this was a new experience for us. We had a lot of guests, lots of dishes were prepared, and there were many dishes that I didn't know the names of, and it was the first day that I'd heard of them. It was interesting, and I tried many new things, but overall it went great. Slowly customers started coming and filling the room and suddenly every weekend we were busy. And the reservations were coming and I really was in shock because I thought such a humble restaurant with a small menu and relatively different menu, it took off straight away without any marketing. I mean, of course, we didn't have any money to spend on marketing or some kind of advertisement. It was basically about word of mouth. The first guests come, tell their friends. They tell their friends, and they tell their friends. And suddenly, we had a waiting list. We had uh, people trying to come in, and we said, sorry, we don't have a table. And it was amazing, you know? I couldn't have wished for a better start, uh, for a better welcoming into the city. The feedback from the people was uh, tremendously valuable. We immediately became one of the good restaurants to go to which was essentially the, the dream I was trying to realize, trying to contribute with something of my own to the city, to the people, to be able to offer them something that maybe they didn't try before. 
More and more restaurants are opening. Of course, the level of competition is rising, but not in a way as before because there are different niche markets. I mean, there are restaurant bars, but offering different cuisine, something like Latin American or Georgian. Yes, we get more and more restaurants, but at the same time, not all of them compete with each other, and it's more like some friendly competition. Craft Kitchen and Bar is my favorite restaurant in Almaty. The Craft Kitchen and Bar is my favorite restaurant in Almaty. Edward even laughs at me when I come here three or four times a week. Sometimes I even come here for lunch and dinner. Edward raises this plank of the restaurant Edward raises the bar higher for the restaurant. A step up, because the market is developing and it's very good. It's very positive growth. I think Edward is his love I think the heart of the restaurant is Edward. It's his love for the kitchen. And it gets transferred to our cooks because we all share the kitchen. The kitchen is open and people see everything there. How thorough the cooks are in their work, how they smile all the time. It's always a pleasure to see the atmosphere inside the restaurant. Because usually you don't see how it works, who does what, and who makes your dish. Here, everything is open and transparent. The restaurant sphere is in Kazakhstan is the restaurant industry in Kazakhstan is quite young, despite the fact that we have a lot of options. There are several strong restaurants that have been here for 10 to 15 years already. New places often open and close. We in Kazakhstan are used to the fact that a place is open, then it works well, the food is delicious, good service, and sometime later it becomes boring. As I understand, the most important restaurant is the kitchen. The fact is that Edward is both the chef and the owner of this restaurant. He understands very well what is going on in the business and his restaurant, and this very much helps him to develop. I think since Kazakhstan is still a young country, we're still developing, and the interest of Western and other countries in what is happening in Kazakhstan is just growing. That is why we have lots of opportunities in different areas, and people see it, they notice it, and want to try to enter this market at the right moment to catch the wave and help Kazakhstan develop, and also develop themselves. Every industry has something that can be improved, which attracts even more interest. Everyone wants to be kind of first on the market because they see the opportunities here that could be taken advantage of. I think we have a long way ahead of us. Every year the investment flows will continue to increase as we have quite high potential. Kazakhstan is quite a unique country. This is a country with lots of nations and cultures, and people feel safe, especially when it comes to financial investments and risks concerning such projects. Kazakhstan for me was about uh, introducing new ideas and uh, establishing a new life here. I can say that I couldn't have chosen a better place. This is where I now have my first business in life. I now have a family and um, I don't know what else Kazakhstan will bring for me, but I'm sure it's going to be a long future here with plenty of exciting developments in, in well, business, in family, in uh, to lifestyle and uh, well, with, uh, with any business in the future, health and uh, family will always be on the forefront. Kazakhstan has become a new home for Edward Henschel. He's now our compatriot.